Hey guys, I'm here in my recycled window greenhouse. I do another video on this if you're interested, but today I really would like to talk about fungus gnats. Uh, about five years ago, I did another video on a solution that I found for the fungus gnats, and I'm so happy to report to you that it's been five years completely fungus gnat free, 100% working. And right before I get into it, I do want to assure you that I have tried so many things. I know we've heard about a lot of solutions out there, just to name a few, yellow sticky traps, sand mulch, gravel mulch, taping the soil, hydrogen peroxide, cinnamon, coffee, essential oils, diatomaceous earth, antifungal herb teas to drench the soil with, uh, BT, hot pepper spray, <laughs> steel wool and copper wool to like top dress um, you know, that soil with so they can't get out, uh, forced drought, you know, not enough water, uh, vinegar traps, yeast traps, uh, I think I, I used the heat of a blow dryer one to try to kill them in the first few inches of soil, and even neem oil itself. And some of these things uh, really helped, but none of them eradicated the gnats at all. No nothing was totally successful. In fact, uh, most of those things on the list were just really an absolute joke. But hey, um, you, you gotta try something once, right? Um, so today, uh, I'm gonna tell you the absolute solution uh, that I have found and that is simply neem cake. This comes in a couple of different uh, like forms. You know, some things look a little bit more like uh, pellets. Uh, some orders look a little bit more ground up, um, but either one should work. And the beautiful thing about neem cake is what you're gonna do is make a neem tea with it. So you pretty much steep it in water and use that water to drench the soil of, of uh, your plants because that is where the gnats live, that's where they breed, and that's where their eggs and larvae are. And, and it, it just works to kill them off, um, as well as the, uh, the adults. With neem oil, it is pretty effective, but the problem with neem oil is that it's really harsh. Uh, you have to emulsify it first in water using some dish soap and stuff like that. And between the oil and whatever the emulsifier is, it's gonna be a little bit rough on your soil, your microbes, your plant roots. Um, it, you know, Things really need to breathe down there and soil structure is really important. That's why this stuff is amazing. And not only is it not harmful for your soil and plants, it's actually beneficial for your plants. Um, it's actually a mild fertilizer and it's really good for your root systems. So amazing stuff. You're gonna get neem cake, find it online. It's usually found online. Unfortunately, it's not usually found uh, in local nurseries yet that I know of at least. But order this stuff and simply just uh, use about two to three heaping tablespoons per one gallon of water. Um, and that's really it. So, so what I'll do is kind of take an old bottle like this, take a little funnel, and then scoop it up like this three times. Okay? And then just kind of swish it in there. You kind of turn it upside down and really get it in there because what you want is a nice brown water. But first, we need to let this sit for at least a few hours. Like a few hours is really good, uh, maybe several hours, maybe overnight. Word of warning though, I would not go much more than that. I would not have this in here for days because when it starts to rot, it smells really disgusting, like really bad. Um, and, and, and with that said, I mean, some people don't like the, the smell of neem even to begin with. It does smell a little bit kind of like a rancid oil or like a rotten peanut butter a little bit, but honestly, it's so worth it. I mean, if you have the issue that I have had with fungus gnats that were absolutely all over my house infesting everything, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it. So try that, a um, couple hours, uh, brown the water with it, shake it up, and go ahead and water your plants in the same routine that you would usually water them. Uh, one little piece of advice is just make sure that when you water them, do it in such a way that, that it's going to make the most contact with the most soil, especially in, at, around the surface, few inches as possible. So maybe flood it in there fast so that it like really covers everything and then drenches down. Or if you don't have that kind of effect in your soil, do the opposite where you go real slow and really just try to get thoroughly the entire surface uh, of the soil. So that's really it. Whenever you usually water your plants, uh, do it with the neem, and with, within several waterings, the, the, the gnats should be completely gone. Of course, there are different factors, so it's going to take a certain amount of time uh, for, uh, for one versus the other, but I could almost guarantee you guys, like, 
in time it will kill them because it messes them up on on a hormonal level where um, you know, they just don't eat properly and they don't breed properly. It's not just going to drop them all dead right away, um, but it's just it's beautiful knowing that they are experiencing a slow and tricky and strange death to their entire population. So I hope you give this a shot, and I hope that it works just as well for you as it did for me, but I'd seriously be shocked if it didn't. It's really been that effective. And if you want other solutions, other things like this, feel free to subscribe, and until next time.